All right, so this is all that it is. All thread, three nuts turned down, really shit well job on the end of one. The other two are loose, like I said, or like I'm going to say, depending on the order which I post these. And that's in case the whole shaft starts to turn. This will turn with the shaft if the main nut seizes up because it's already losing a lot of its threading. But these two will continue to move and they'll bind against each other once they hit something and they'll move it again. And as long as they keep moving, they'll thread themselves down and push it out. So, you just find your wrist pin. Shove that through there. Difficult one handed. Pardon the mess. We're doing a few things. Got to stop at the end. Throw your washers on there. Throw your new, well, old nut now. You should probably get a few nuts on hand just in case. I do recommend that your nuts be weaker than your all thread and the off chance that something's going to strip like this one is as you can see a bunch of little metal shavings uh, mostly around there i'm wiping them with the rag then uh, at least the nut will go and the thread won't much easier to replace this than the rest of it just thread that on yeah that looks about right pull that too <clears throat> Let's see if we can do this. Put you down for a second. Alright. So the piston has a lip. You gotta get it over the vice first. Pull it forward. And then just tighten the screw over here. Or the nut, not the screw. Like uh, so. In a very difficult manner. Once it gets up pretty close, you can just about snug it with one hand. And just by holding the all thread, it'll keep it in its position like that. And then you put the wrench on it. Turn or two. You'll just have to uh, have faith that I'm giving it a turn or two. Or three. And now it's snug in there. You want to keep it as straight as possible. Make sure there's a little gap on either side of the wrist pin so that it's not just dragging along the vice teeth. Otherwise, that will make this considerably more difficult. I figured that out the first time. And it'll just pull that through the back. Uh, here, as we start, you hear a pop. That's the pin unseating from where it's at. See if it'll pop. Pop. There you go. And the rest should just be a straightforward pull. I feel like you're dragging a kite through water, but it'll work. And it also helps to uh, lube the pin, lube the washers, the all thread, and your nut. So everything doesn't bind as badly. And uh, just keep pulling. So it looks like I'm doing do these in pieces and try to find a way to merge the videos. So with the end of the tool, this is probably the one of the last times I'm going to use it. So I figure I show it now. I already told you that I weld the last nut, and they're all rounded off after. But the other two are not. You may need more than three, depending on the size of the nut and depending on how long your wrist pin is, in case you need to pull it all further out. But this is the reason for not welding the other two. Let's see if we can get a good light. You can see in that little hole, the very end of it, spinning. And so is the all thread and the nut on this side. Normally, that would be an issue. But since it's spinning and there's still pressure on the other two, it's still pulling them through. So here we hit sit amongst all the mess trying to remove wrist pins from fucking pistons. And uh, well, as you can see, it's working. I still have two more to go. One more there and in the middle of one. Friend at work suggested I actually put these things up. Since, uh, like most of you, I don't have money for a hydraulic press. 
I don't have one shoved up my ass around here somewhere. And you will see a lot of Harbor Freight for that reason. I ended up making um, a wrist pin puller, I guess you'd call it, out of four nuts, two washers, and some all thread. This one's 14 inches, but realistically, it could have been about 10, 12. So the idea is to take the three nuts on the back, weld the end of the one with the all thread, grind these down to where they're underneath the diameter of the actual conrod, but still wide enough to catch the wrist pin. And as you tighten on this side, these two washers act more like a bushing or a bearing so that this nut can slide. If you look real close though, it's uh, been eating up the nut quite a bit. But I could sacrifice a nut. The all thread would be more of a pain in the ass to replace. And as you tighten it, it pulls the whole thing through since the piston is stuck right here against it. For uh, demonstration, I'll make a mark. Hopefully, you can see that. I can barely see that. Holy shit, Mark. Yeah, well, it's a little bit better. I'll do a couple of turns on the wrench, which. In retrospect, if I'd have made this shorter, then uh, I probably could have put a ratchet on it. Or if I had a ratcheting wrench, that would work too. But as you see, it's pulling it out. Here, I'm going to try to set the camera right here as I do it. Release it against something. With every turn, it gives you a just a little bit more and progressively instead of pushing the pins out it'll pull the pins out uh, just the opposite if you put something soft on the outside of the device then you can put uh, the piston right up against it without damaging the very edge of the piston because it does push a little bit which you can see right these are trash pistons now but there, those two shiny spots. Realistically, it's not enough damage to do anything. The casting marks in these things are worse than the the marks that are getting put on it by the vise. So if you wanted to opt out of putting something soft between the piston and the vise, new piston and the vise anyway, really wouldn't make a huge difference. And uh, I'll just take a picture of the tool whenever I'm done and see how if I can edit the video and put it at the end of this.